Hello everyone, welcome to Practical Research 2, which is quantitative research. So how are you guys? How are you today? I hope that you're doing great. So um, this is going to be our first lesson for this subject. So I would like to welcome everyone. So let's start. Okay, so for your competency, you are going to describe the characteristics, strengths, weaknesses, and kinds of quantitative research. Then for lesson one, the nature of inquiry and research, characteristics of quantitative research, strengths and weaknesses of quantitative research, kinds of quantitative research. But for this lesson, for this lesson, I just want you to I would just want to discuss with you, for this video rather, I would like to discuss with you only the two topics, nature of inquiry and research and characteristics of quantitative research. For the next video, we will have the strengths and weaknesses of quantitative research, then kinds of quantitative research. So nature of inquiry and research. So to inquire is synonymous with investigation. Do you agree? So when you are going to inquire, you are going to ask questions, right? So in investigation also, if there is something that you need to know, you also ask questions. So in order for you to explore or to probe on something. So to probe on something, you need to have your higher order thinking skills like inferential thinking, analytical, being critical, creative and also appreciative so this is in order for you to get the views and opinions or any other ideas related to your research okay so you have to be uh, expect yourself to really develop this inferential thinking and other hots Okay, next, so research, we have earlier discussed that inquiry is asking questions, but research, it's also asking questions, but it involves more complicated investigation than inquiry because it follows a systematic procedure of finding out truths or meanings about things in this world. So have you heard about scientific method? So since a scientific method, there is a procedure step-by-step -step process to come up with a solution so the same thing with the research also it's more than just inquiry it's more than just investigation and it's finding out truths or meanings in a systematic procedure then characteristics of research so when you say quantitative research we are going to define first what is quantitative research so from the from the word or from the prefix quanti it means numbers right then quantitative research then research is an investigation in which the observable phenomena phenomena through uh, use the uh, use the comp computational techniques so when you say quantitative research you're going to deal with numbers and then there will be formula to come up with the results in which you're going to interpret okay then another is and then let's move on to the characteristics of quantitative research so first one characteristic of quantitative research is objective so when you are going to do research quantitatively then you have to deal with accurate measurement and analysis not guesses no intuition but you know whatever is the fact that can be measured then that's objective then another characteristic is clearly defined research questions of course so in quantitative research you have to your questions must be well defined the right when you are asking the right questions you will get the right answers so in research you should know as a researcher you should know what you're looking for in advance okay also 
in quantitative research it's not ju it's not about discovery but it's all about proof so make sure that uh, your questions would really lead you to finding the right answers okay and then uh, another characteristic of quantitative research is the use of standardized instruments so when you are using standardized instruments this is so uh, you're, you need to use standardized instruments in order for you to have a more reliable uh, ensuring the accuracy and the validity of your data because if you're just going to make it you know your own uh, questionnaire because there are really steps in making a questionnaire or an instrument okay then another characteristic of research is numerical data and quantitative research so data in the form of numbers and statistics are arranged in tables charts figures or other non-textual forms so that the people who are going to read or you're going to uh, check your research you would really understand immediately by putting your data in uh, things like these tables charts figures all right then large sample sizes so in qualitative research uh, you are even one person one to uh, at least ten persons are respondents it's you're good to go to gather data for your research however in quantitative research the larger the size sample the more valid and the more reliable your results are of course, since this is uh, this involves sampling, in quantitative research, there's no it's not it's not negotiable. You really have to do random sampling. We will uh, tackle on that more in our next uh, later later. Okay, so if you can still recall, what are the characteristics of research? So first one is being objective. Second, clearly defined research questions. Then third, structured research instruments. Then fourth, numerical data, large sample sizes, replication, future outcomes. Okay. So in this activity, I want you to please pause, hit pause. Um, and then when you are, uh, when you're done going through the activity, I want you to I want you to I want you to send me in my messenger I want you to PM to me your answers in the activity the first activity the true or false and the second activity put a tick if it describes the characteristics of quantitative research so there are five so this activity is only 10 items okay so if you have questions about this topic just clarify with me and ask me questions um there in my uh, messenger okay so thank you so much guys and we will continue on in our next video about the strengths and weaknesses of quantitative research thank you very much for watching have a good day take care and be in good health Stay safe. Goodbye.